Welcome to the channel you guys, it's the One Hand Gamer here. Today I got a little special video that I want to do for you guys, but basically this is the video I'm going to do to you guys and give you guys an in-depth on how I actually play console and I'll show you guys how I do PC as well with one hand. Console, I'm, I'm usually on Xbox, but I'm, you know, PlayStation as well. So I'm going to get right on into it. For Xbox controller, you know, I was born without another hand on my left my left hand so I only have my right hand which kind of works out kind of good for me because I have all the buttons here on this side that you know I need my thumb for so thumb is a really big deal so you got my AB you know all this over here so this regular just like how you guys play basically then when it comes down to this over here I use my nub for analog this select and I'll use it for LB same with PlayStation controller as well um, L1 and then you got your triggers back here so the way I actually do it, I hope you guys can see it in frame while I do this. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit actually. So I usually play with my controller and then I'll have this side of the, con the left hand side of the controller where I don't have my hand on my thigh. And I use my thigh right here, as you can see, I hope it's in frame. As you can see right here, I use that for the trigger. So when I'm like, I push against my thigh and then I'm able to move around still while aiming. I use my nub here to, uh, you know, I'll move around my guy and I'm still able to use the D-pad as well. And then if I need to go up and press LB, I can kind of sneak my nub up here to press LB. So usually it, I do sit in a gaming kind of a weird uh, position. I'll have like my, my right foot here. I'll kind of like put it underneath my thigh on this side because it kind of lifts it up. And then, I, you know, I don't have to put, lean down so much with my back to get the controller down here. and. So like it's easier because it gives it an elevation here and then like it's easier for me to, you know, press it against my thigh so when I need to aim, I'm basically just like that, you know, aim, push down. So I'm a big sniper in Call of Duty and for quick scoping, what I'll do for quick scoping is instead of using this to quick scope, I'll just like flick the controller up, boom, boom, move around, boom, boom, boom. Cause you cause when you're quick scoping, you're usually not moving and aiming at the same time, if you know what I mean. Like, you usually quick scope, you're kind of stopping your guy, quick scope, boom. So that's what I do. I kind of just flick the controller up and do that. Basically, like, when I'm playing Call of Duty any way, other way, like I said, I just, you know, have it on the thigh, push down, aim down, and move around just like that. I hope you guys understood what I was kind of telling you and showing at the same time. So, I mean, if you guys have any questions throughout this video at all, please put them down in the script description below, and um, I'll for sure uh, answer all your guys' questions. So same with the PlayStation controller. Um, it's kind of weirder with these because it's not as comfortable and then when I use the PlayStation controller as well So the L1 is really sensitive and when I'm pushing it on my thigh Sometimes I'll hit L1 and it's just the most annoyingest thing ever because I'm throwing a flashbang for no reason or not So PlayStation controller is just kind of like me trying to find the right area of where to like uh, Kind of like rest it on my thigh so I don't hit that L1 button Same will happen sometimes with the Xbox button because this is really on this controller. It's really sensitive so I'm basically kind of telling you guys how I play Call of Duty with one hand, but same goals basically for like any other game I play. That's going to be how I play console gaming or how I play with the controller with one hand. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how I play PC. I am not the best at PC, but I can play PC here. Um, I'm going to show you guys right now how I play PC. If you guys have any questions at all about the controller gaming with one hand or anything at all, throw them down in the comment section below and I'm for sure. Uh, get back to you guys on that. I'm gonna switch the cameras around show you guys the PC side of things and we'll wrap up the video from there Alright, so I'm not gonna be in frame for this video here just cuz I want to give you guys a good angle view of how I play So for PC gaming, you know, you have your usual walk is uh, your WASD here So basically I that's all I use on the keyboard usually is the WASD and I'll just kind of here I'm gonna give you guys a better view over here. I usually just this is how I usually do it. I'll just kind of like fat, fat finger, but fat nub in my condition or in my way, W A S D, and it honestly it works out pretty well because I'm able to use like this part right here to hit the buttons, and it works out pretty well when as W A S D. So that's how the W A S D works over here, and then so the way that it works good for me is I get this uh, a mouse with like uh, changeable uh, key bindings on the side here. So I think this one has like ten or so. And that helps out a lot. So I'm able to, you know, do my bindings that I need mostly on, um, that you would use over here. So I will use like other keys over here. If it's like Q, E, R, or whatever, it's like more muscle, muscle memory. So like I'm able to do these things over here, change them to the key bindings here, and then I'm good to go. That's how I do mouse and keyboard. 
Um, I really don't know what else to explain more in depth on how I usually how I would do mouse and keyboard. I can I can also give you guys some mouse and keyboard gameplay if you guys would like me to. But right now I'm gonna tell you right now I'm not the best at mouse and keyboard just because I don't really play as much. So like. I'm just not good and when I come down to that first person shooter it's just like the mouse like I just cannot line my shots up and then like clicking it's just like I don't know I haven't put enough time into it to get actually good at it but I am capable of playing mouse and keyboard with one hand without plugging a controller and the only thing is is like I have to lean forward over here to press the keyboard I just smack my face on this to lean forward and I just get like it, it's like some back pain after a while after I'm playing so like I gotta like scoot the keyboard up and then like down here so it's just like not the com most comfortable thing to do mouse and keyboard with one hand but yeah like I said I'm still capable of doing all of this so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a thumbs up and if you guys are new around here come join the OG army one hand gamer and hit that subscribe button please almost 200 strong here uploads daily mostly i'm going to be uploading so much call of duty content here and you know i might switch it up here and there and throw some other content in as well and if you guys are on twitch i do stream uh, i'd say three to four times a week so if you hit me over there on the stream that's going to be linked down in the description below i hope i explained everything well for you guys for you guys to understand how things work when I play a uh, console of one hand, that's going to be the end of the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. They love it when I turn up the bass.